Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about the RCAP Cool Space Rescue Under 12 Categories Challenge. I am participating in this challenge. Well, this is some of my information about my team. I am from Zhonghua Primary School and I am 12 years old, which is P6 this year. This is my second time participating in this competition. My CCA in school is robotics, and I joined the robotics CCA as I love coding and learning new things about robotics. Also, my team and ID is SG226045, and ZHPS13 is my team name. My real name is Enrique T. Ren Hao. This is an executive summary of the preliminary challenge, and this is how I solve my problems. Firstly, I will test my solution, then I will find the problem of the solution, find parts of the problem, then make solutions for each part, and improve on the previous solution. For example, when my teacher gives us the RRGGBB code, I will think from there how I can do this better. For example, when he gives us the code, I will find the problems in the code, find parts of the problem, make solutions for each part, and improve on the previous solution. This way, I can get a better code from the one that the teacher gave us. The task of the challenge is to earn as many points as possible. Well, how do you do that? Firstly, this is how I find the parts of the problem and earn as many points as possible. I will tell the robot to recognize the object, collect the object, deposit the object. This way, the collection will be turned into points. When the robot recognizes the object, it will pick up the object or collect the object, like red, black, or Sired, then it will deposit it and get more points. This is a video of the game. So, firstly, the robot moves around and finds objects such as red, black, or sired. See, the robot now has been able to collect one black object. Next, the robot will collect two black objects. This way, when it collects two black objects, it will not collect any more black objects. And when the robot has four objects, it will start more flowing. I will explain to you why. Well, when the robot has two black objects, I will tell it not to pick up any more black objects as I want to get RRGGBB, which is two black objects, two red objects, and two cyan objects. When it is able to do that, then the robot will be able to deposit successfully after collecting all these objects. And when it deposits successfully, well, then it will be able to get RRGGBB, which is super plus objects, or a super object. Well, now the robot will follow the wall after four objects as super objects are, or super plus objects are usually near the wall. And when the robot follows the wall, it will be able to get in the deposit by hitting the track, then turning in the right direction and going into the deposit where my mouse is. Well, then that the super object or super plus object is here, which is near the wall. What I have learned that can be applied in the real world are problem solving skills, innovation skills, and resilient skills. Well, when you have all these combined together, you get success. When you need problem solving skills, then you can solve the problem 
with innovation and think of creative ways of how to solve it. Then, you must persevere too. This way, you will be able to get success. Well, how are robots useful in real life? Well, they can help to rescue people. For example, a rescue robot is a robot designed to aid in the search and rescue of humans. They may assist rescue efforts by searching, mapping, removing rubble, delivering supplies, providing medical treatment or evacuating casualties. By having all these functions, they can help save lives. Well, how do they save lives, you might ask? Well, the robot can save lives by doing all these and then saving the casualties from the disaster area. Thank you and goodbye.